When a child is born, has a partial identity, and the identity is being constructed in time. I would like to observe the European Union as being infant, being a young entity, being adopted by many parents, the state members. Now, if we're expecting the child to grow up overnight without sacrifices, without sharing part of our identity as parents, we are totally wrong. You have to do something about building that entity. So um, why it's important to discuss the identity of each country. What I've done, I'm going to present to you. I studied 198 anthems. In the paper, I have only 14. Now, you see Romania has been broken apart. Since 1989, we have a semi, semi-presidential system where uh, the president and the prime minister always are fighting, and that stops uh, this parent, this uh, Romania parent of uh, one of the parents uh, uh, of uh, Europe, I would like to see it uh, that way, stops from developing. And if you do not develop as parent, how can you expect your child to develop very well? Uh, many people interpret the uh, inclusion of Europe and uh, inclusion of uh, Romania and Europe more as Europe, Europe entering Romania. So um, that has to be changed if we want to grow and if we want to develop this entity. Uh, anyway, today, um, today uh, Dr. René Kuperus uh, mentioned the fact that the European Union is very vulnerable. Yes, indeed, for the same reason uh, a child is very vulnerable. When he's young, we have to allow time for that child, for her, for Europe, to become, to, to, to build its immunity. If we, as a bio, bioeconomist, I compare any, our, uh, any of our deeds based on emotions, because everything we do is, are based, uh, is based on emotions. I compare it with life, because everything is life. Life builds emotions, emotions conducts life. And if we understand that very well, then we will understand my pre presentation from now on. What does it have to do, uh, everything you're talking about here, with national identity? Well, you will understand that. First of all, you see, Robert Schumann, 1950, since we're talking about 60 years from the foundations, uh, the, the first bricks of European Union, Europe will not be made all at once, all according to a single plan. No. Since we are many, many parents, 27 parents as of now, uh, we're having 27 different plans, and all of them must be treated equally. Because I don't think somebody will be more powerful than the other one. We're talking about cultural diversity. We're talking about real values here. European identity is the sum of each identity in Europe. So we must pay attention to each one. Now, uh, like I said earlier, with different words, I will reiterate, society shall be observed, seen as a macro-organism, where all the constitutive parts, like any member organ, are intimately, closely important to each other for the good of functionality, development, health of each other. Make a short, my right hand can never get upset on my left hand for being lefty, for not being so handy. Because together we can lift something up and hold it, or embrace somebody, right? So uh, any change, any change, change basically stays at the base of life. Development, growth, you understand what I mean? The need for changes must be very well justified, deeply understood by people, since in a democratic country, the process implies a national referendum. If we talk about national symbols to be changed, to be updated, 
needs a referendum, but people cannot go and vote for something that they don't really understand why they're doing it and why they're doing it. And I call that informed democratic values and process, IDVP. I will refer further on to national anthems, uh, to national symbols in general, flags and anthems, because they are interconnected. And I will put accent on the Romania case. Uh, why we have to pay attention to those national anthems and to, uh, to uh, national symbols generally? Because they represent a small key to the big gate towards national identity. The problem is, what is happening if this key bends or it breaks? You'll never access that door. Some people will say, well, you're addressing subjects that, come on, we have so many other uh, important issues. Uh, 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 let the anthems alone, uh, 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 let it be, you know, we got, we got priorities. Well, if you don't know who you are, you'll never know what direction you're going towards. You really have to know who you are. And then probably you have expectations from your children. So uh, what the flags or the colors of the flags are used for? Well, we see the stadium being, uh, being uh, built and designed using the French uh, uh, colors of the French flag. Official meetings, sports events, and, uh, uh, and uh, manifesting your uh, uh, anger and also as a political attack. Barack Obama, during his uh, several, uh, uh, several uh, campaign activities, during the national anthem, he didn't put the, 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 his hand on, on his heart. And he was heavily attacked for that. People pay attention to national anthems and to gestures. And he, as a senator, often he did not wear his pin depicting, depicting the flag. He was, he was attacked. In Romania, in 2014, Victor Ponta, prime minister at that time, did not win the, uh, the presidency for the fact that he was not able to intonate on a direct broadcast on a national television the national anthem. But uh, Klaus Johannes was able to do that. Uh, and he won the presidency. This is how important it is to acknowledge uh, the national anthems. Well, we have the flags used uh, at uh, protest, during the protest. And recently, we had the Romanian flag. Um, let me know one more. Oh, we, Ten minutes. That, oh, that's good. Uh, we used uh, about 130,000 people uh, that went on the streets against uh, the government. Uh, they formed a uh, human flag and later on a uh, European uh, flag, as you can see in the pictures. Well, uh, Americans, quite often, they display without a special occasion the American flag, which is a wonderful thing. I personally have <laughs> those bird houses, as you see, in my yard. And in my house, I have those, those two paintings that depict the Romanian flag. One will be uh, for the new anthem I'm, I'm proposing for Romania, which is Un Suflet de Român. And the other one, Rugăciune pentru un Timp, which means a pray for a new season. We're talking about social, political, economic season. Well, the flags are also used, mutilating them to transmit a message. Foreigners will burn the American flag, as well Americans will burn the American flags on 4th of July, on the National Day, to show their unhappiness against their own government. They make a statement. In 1984, in 1989, Romanian flag, the, the, the emblem was cut off to show uh, uh, the fact that they don't want any more communism. But that was a planned thing because they could do another thing. They could have cut off from that 
emblem. Only the Soviet, the, 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 the Russian, the Union, the USSR, uh, meaning star, and they did not do that. Later on, we found out why. The security services, General Julian Vlad, three months ahead of time before the revolution, so that was not a revolution that is documented, he planned what to do in, the, uh, in those days. And he studied no Imbre uh, file, security file, to see what happened in 1956, if I'm not wrong, in Hungary. And he copy-pasted the same idea, cutting the middle of the flag. With that, what happened? That was the flag with the emblem, depicting natural resources, oil, water, forest. And I have the description, I don't know if you can see it very well. Anyway, cutting off the emblem, soon after that, the new government sold out all the properties. At this time, Romania suffers uh, uh, the, the forest being mutilated, the waters are being sold, the oil w went to strangers, to foreign interests. So, was that a mental programming, a neuro, uh, um, um, linguistic uh, programming? Like, hey, this is how we are, this is how we're supposed to be, accept that. Because people, they see things and they do that. Monkey see, monkey do. It's a say in English. So we contain, we, we continuing with the same thing. Prime Minister is one side, the President is on the other side, because the national anthem it says the same thing. And later on, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to go faster, uh, and I'll show you how the national anthem actually goes hand on hand with the uh, with the mutilating of this flag. Don't understand me wrong, I'm not for the communism, but the communism could be cut off without cutting off the natural resources, meaning the emblem. This is the official flag as of now. And what's behind the flags? Lots of violence. This is the United States flag at the, at the bottom. And grown up, grown up, with every dominion, that every, every state added on, added on. Don't tell me, they said, hey, Americans, I want to be, I want to come with you. No, no, no. There was war, there was blood, and this is what's behind flags. And I use the American flag just because it shows more. But just about any flag has been built on blood. Flags are being burned against America, against Russia, and against many other nations. What is a national anthem? An anthem is what people make of it, <coughs> said Esteban Boch in his article regarding the European anthem and Beethoven. Uh, I will cut it short, because uh, I want to allow time for other issues. They transmit positive and negative emotions. And those emotions come from people, but in the same time, those symbols feed people, becomes emotional food. And who you want to be, this is what your national anthem is. I observed the Georgia anthem, Moldova, Croatia, Russia, I consider it. I'm a member of the uh, International Academy of Science through Russia. But don't take me wrong, I have no affinity to Russia at all. So uh, if any interpretations are done in that direction, it is done by uh, responsibility of the person that is making that interpretation. Uh, Canada is a great one. Iran, Syria, interesting. Now, I have national anthems with a very strong negative domestic and international impact. China. Short is calling for war. The old anthem they had, it was very peaceful. Right now, they're calling for war and goes hand in hand with their actions in the world. Uh, National anthem of France is probably the most violent anthems of all, and I consider there is a strong relationship 
between the words may impure blood water our fields be a reason for the 340,000 more people uh, that are foreigners and most of them are also French citizens being offended by those words I mean impure blood not that you say impure blood but water the fields come on it's a little bit way too much uh, uh, as a consequence, the French National Anthem does not respect the European Commission Directives number 43, uh, year 2000. So, um, United States, we're having lots of violence in United States and the anthem. I call, uh, I, I give details, I cannot go over them because I'm going to run out of time. On April 20th, uh, I said 1976, it's a mistake, last year, 2016, I made myself a present, I addressed President Obama, Obama a letter, I received a response for him, from him, but with no, no uh, reference at all to the issue itself because there are papers that shows the fact that he wanted to change the national anthem but his uh, campaign uh, uh, advisors uh, probably told him, shut up, you will never win the elections if you go on. I don't know, but there are some documents showing that, but I don't know exactly those documents, how real they are. Anyway, uh, the National Anthem of Hungary, uh, it contains zero first-person plural words, which calls for unity. It's no self-implication, does not exist. Uh, self-implication does not exist in any verses of the Hungarian national anthem. I'm sorry to say that I'm here in Hungary, but I want to do good. I don't want to insult anybody. Just I call for changes, not only Romanian anthem, but also uh, the French, uh, anything I'm talking about. Uh, David Lester in 2011, he showed the direct relationship between suicide rates and in uh, 18 different uh, European nations, the direct connection with the national anthems. Uh, later on, uh, we have the six scientists, uh, Voros, Ozvan, uh, Vince, Kustani, Fekete, Rimmer. Uh, 2016, just a few months ago, as a fact, they showed the direct relationship between suicide rate in Hungary and the content of the Hungarian national uh, anthem. So uh, I wish you, the Hungarian, will, will, will consider to do something about that because it's not me saying that. There are other people, I'm just putting information together and bring it to you here. I like the way it sounds like, but unfortunately I don't understand much. <laughs> but I don't feel good either because it's like, a, it's like a prayer, and uh, I think prayers are prayers, and anthems are anthems, and I do not suggest hymns being anthems, but n n nor, uh, not either the marches, because they're kind of too military, and I want the anthems to be demilitarized. Uh, no blood there. European Union, major problem, and no wonder Europe is shaking. Herbert von Karajan picked up the Ninth Symphony, modified it, and with Berlin Symphony Orchestra, he recorded the Deutsche Grammophon, and he became the owner of the anthem. And he, he received protection, copyright, uh, late, uh, copyright protection. And the copyright protection was of a member of the Nazi party for 10 years, from 1935 to 1945, and was not an accident. Herbert von Karajan applied for, to become a member of the Nazi party in 1933. They were not accepting new people at that time, and he insisted in 1935, his application was accepted and he was uh, given the membership number, 34309114. I haven't seen the documents, but this is coming from a reputable paper, from a reputable uh, uh, 
uh, and the information can Two be minutes. verified. Two minutes, I will be done. Uh, Romanian national anthem. From the title and from the very first words, is creating discrimination, saying you. I mean, all the time is talking the second person singular. You wake up, Romanian. I mean, I am awake, and since I am singing to you, that means I'm awake and you have a problem. Wake up, you, uh, you are not, uh, you, were, you, you worth nothing. Uh, so, the, the, um, and wake up from the deadly sleep, not just like being numb, deadly sleep. It's an insult all the way through, and also does not respect, uh, does not respect uh, the Directive 43 from 2000, European uh, Commission uh, directives, uh, due to the fact that it's uh, including ethnic and racial discrimination, and three different, uh, three different uh, instances. Um, the. Um, the heroes, uh, Mihai, Stefan, Corvin, they are, not, they are not depicted as being great, but great shadows. Great, cold, black shadows. Great shadows. They are not alive in people's uh, soul. They are shadows. And lots of cursing, lots of cursing, lots of blood, lots of violence. And People are being compared with cattle. I mean, what, an, what national anthem will insult its own people? None. It's really, really rude, as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, I uh, conducted, um, I'm going to jump a little bit. Um, several people. Uh, try to change uh, the flags also in the United States in 2014. Uh, um, the anthem, uh, Senator Harkin, after 40 years of being in Congress, when uh, came in to talk to say goodbye, said, listen, I got to tell you something of my heart. For 40 years I wanted to change the anthem. Now I cannot leave the office before telling you, you guys change the anthem. And that was like, what? So anyway, um, New Zealand, Canada, this is a map of uh, the anthems, uh, they were, uh, uh, they became uh, official in the world. This is Senator uh, um, uh, Harkin, uh, while he was talking, it's a pickup from TV. Uh, proposal, uh, proposals for the national anthem, I handled uh, three different proposals, two of them contain new musics, uh, new musical um, uh, scores. Uh, before that, a uh, news agency, uh, learning uh, the fact that I'm, I'm doing this, conducted a poll. 56% of the population of the respondents uh, said yes, 56% they wanted my version. At that time, it was only one version. I conducted a poll too. And uh, this is the market. Uh, I'm not going to go in detail. Whoever wants details. Anyway, 74% of the population do not identify with the present anthem. They want to have a national anthem. So I'm on the right direction to change the, the, the anthem. And I'm not going to change it myself. I just propose. It's not about me. It's about the anthem. 26% only, they identify with the present national anthem in Romania. Uh, I've done the same thing with the flag, and you'll be surprised. 98% of the population, they want to have the flag changed. 98% of the population. I had like about 27,000 people exposed to the score. So it can be done, not easy, it can be done. But national identity stays very much based on our national symbols. We create the national symbols, but at the same time, national symbols are talking to us and tells us what we want and what, who, we, who we are. At the same time, I feel like the, the violence in the United States is very much due to the violent anthem, because it got into people's brain, into people's cells, that it's okay to be violent. 
it's okay. I mean, kids, 12 years old, pick up a gun and they, they go and shoot. And it's not a random, I mean, it's not a random thing. It's quite often. Everybody's. So, uh, I'm at the end of it. So, uh, <laughs> we look for life on other planets. <coughs> but hey, life is here on Earth. And let's respect life on Earth before we spending money to look for the source of life, the origin of life, and life on other planets. And uh, I thank you very much. And I'd like to play to you uh, a song. Um, since uh, at uh, 3 o'clock, can you somehow help me? It doesn't respond to my finger for some reason. Uh, OK. This is the song. I wrote the text for it. And the music is the version of Radu Goldish. Of course, it's in Romanian, but maybe you get a feel of it. There is another version, another song by uh, uh, Petre Iordache. But I conducted a poll for people to select the two anthems. They are very close. This one got 57% and the other one 43 I proposed to the parliament, the Romanian parliament, both of them, since I'm too close to the project, I cannot select one of the two versions. So you get a feel of how the new Romanian anthem might be. I think this is enough. It goes on for another six. Uh, I think we got the you got points. It. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you for this very interesting. This is the first time. Call. This is the first time this national anthem is being is being. Uh, I mean, it's not the official national anthem. The first time when this song is being played in public. And uh, I'm honored to do that uh, uh, here in Hungary because I tell you one thing, the message is trying to unite the different nationalities in Romania, not to make a difference of blood, genetic origins and the languages and whatever. I want to unite people at the beginning of creating the uh, European Union, which is a union, each identity, each state member got to have unity within their state. If you are not okay at home, how can you go out? That's my okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah,